everyone, today I figured um, we'll talk about grooming. Uh, you'll see why, it's kind of obvious. Lasser, look, he's looking shameful because he knows that um, he got himself all dirty. Was starting to groom him up and then I was like, oh, this might be a good time to talk about grooming. Not because you guys need to know how to groom a horse, but just because um, I do, see that's the part that I already groomed. Um, it's because I do have these brushes that not a lot of people know about. Uh, Rain, Rain Holds Horse Wellness. Uh, they're made in Germany and I just love them. Th these ones are, I think, eight, nine years old. I haven't been taking care of them. I'm so bad. They're like real wood and leather and um, real nice bristles and stuff. This is their curry comb. I think it says a perfect one or something. It's stiffer. This is my old curry comb from, I don't know, this is like 18 years old and I still love this thing. I still use it. Um, oh, my favorite hoof pick is the Icar hoof pick from Icar Italy. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I love this one. Uh, these are the ones that I used to use, you know, your typical ones. They they, they do fine, but they're just kind of weird. This is one I just won. And it has the same kind of uh, tip as the iCar one. So, but the iCar one was only $15. I know that's still expensive, but it um, has a similar tip. So maybe that one is good enough. But this just makes it really easy. It just scoops up all, all the dirt. This is an old one that you know you typically buy at the tax store. And now I use this as a hoof. I don't like these synthetic brushes. So I use that as a hoof brush. And okay, so these brushes, they have a one, step one to four system. And this is, um, this. all oh, the curry combs are step one to brush out the dirt and uh, deep embedded dirt and stuff like that. Then there's step twos are your stiff brushes and then your, I don't know, what's step three? I don't know how they go, but um, their step four is a super fine polishing brush, which honestly, I don't know who has time to polish up their horses, unless you do shows, of course. And then I love this thing to just scrape off the water. Um, usually, I don't even bother brushing him because I'm lazy. Usually I just uh, hose him off and that washes right out. Okay, so here's the step four, like a finish brush. This thing is so soft and it's like, I don't even know what this is for. I think it's for his face. I got it for his face. It's all nice and soft. He's like, are you rubbing me with a chinchilla, mom? What is this? What is this? Yeah, it's all nice and soft. Yeah, but who has time for that, right? But um, it is a super soft, nice brush that I keep. Nice. Okay, so when you have something like this, um, usually I just hose them off because it's easier. But since it's also kind of chilly, I don't want to do that to him. So I'll start off with their um, curry. Oh. And you can see how great this works. Not that their curry is that special. I think my old 18 year old curry is just as fine, but this one does have a nice light feel to it. And so this one is good enough. Um, this one is like $6 for this curry. But if you don't want this curry, you just have your old one, then that's perfectly fine. So you have your curry that makes quick work of caked on dirt and mud. Then you have this brush. This brush is kind of unique. It has brass and bristles. And this is a nice stiff brush. And then uh, I love the dandy brush. 
but the dandy brush it has the best flicking you know this flick flick so it has a nice flicking and i love this is my favorite favorite brush but this is no good in the in the dirt and the caked on stuff it doesn't quite dig um hard enough and then this one i don't know this one's nine years old too so i don't know what which one this is but it has a stiffer and then it's really nice to hold so this one is not as stiff as the other brush that i used that had the brass so you can't can't get right in there but this middle part is stiffer over here so then that's when you can get the stuck stuff with the middle part and then you have the softer one on the ends like that so you can flick it off so that's what this one's good for because um like that other brass one i wouldn't use that you know here where you have to get into these little crevices and stuff like this stiff one so these are cool brushes um if you want to get something nice for christmas and take a look at that company i totally recommend it and they last for uh, a long time i've had these for nine years i just got uh this one because i needed needed something but you see how quick that was just to get that out all right so this brush That's what I'm talking about. Real nice and quick. So there you go. If there are any questions, go ahead and leave them for me in the comments below and I'll always try to help you out. Otherwise, thanks for watching.